but it's not me, it's you. What you're turning into is some kind of something that I never knew. It used to be okay, and I like you that way. But I don't think that I like you better. No, I don't think that I like you better. Uh, hey, Hexen. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I saw your question in the discussion about modeling with symmetry, so I wanted to show you how uh, you should be able to get whatever you're um, working set up to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's start off with a cube. we got the cube in the middle of our scene here. And say we've shaped it like this, and, and that's how we want to start our model. Um, with this shape to where that's how big it is, and it's right in the center, and so on. And then we want, from there on, we want to be able to extrude like from here and have it extrude out from here as well. We want them to shape vertices on one side and, or move them around and have them moved around on the other side. Um, what you can do, go into the first, go into the front view. Select, uh, go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and pop in an edge loop. Now to make sure that it's right on the middle line and therefore the uh, symmetry will work correctly and when you eventually merge the model it will work correctly. Go into Vertex, select those, select the Move tool, hold down X and you can pop it right to the middle. The X will pop it basically to the grid. So here you can get it to the middle line and there it is. Select Faces and delete the other side. Okay, so that's how we start. Now, if for some reason, uh, one, one critical thing that um, you were talking about um, mirroring it over and having um, with the duplicate command and having um, it duplicate into the wrong position. So you want to make sure that your pivot is along somewhere along th uh, this axis, the uh, Z axis, so that when you mirror it over on X, it will be um, it will it will mirror from there. If I had it in the middle, it would mirror it in the middle, and then it would be like overlapped. The other thing you want to do is, in case this is say um, turned a little bit, the the pivot is turned, you want to go to freeze transformations, modify freeze transformations, and that will uh, line it up properly again. Okay, and at that point, oops. At that point, all you need to do is select this, go to Edit, Duplicate Special, and have these settings. You want it to be an instance, grouped under the world, um, and, and yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. If you have any questions, just post another question. But anyway, uh, I was going to go into a detail, but I think you'll be fine. So instance, world, uh, and have these settings. So translate and rotate all zeroed, scale, minus one, one, one. So that way it will duplicate it negatively over on X. What number of copies? One. And apply. And there it is. So then when you uh, select this, basically you're also selecting this. By making it an instance, it is you're t basically telling Maya, hey, this is the same object, it's just uh, show me it in negative and we'll work with it. Um, although it, it does treat it like another object, but basically it does what this does. The only thing is that if you move one of these around, if you move it, the other one won't move. Move it or do any kind of rotation or whatever. Um, but if you model with it, it it'll be fine. So, let's see, we'll go to face here. You can see that face is selected as well. Extrude and we can pull it out and the other one pulls out. We can add say an edge loop here. Okay, one second. Okay, my son's bus just got here. I had to go out and get him. So, okay, anyway. So then what you do is okay, say I made this edge and if I make any if I select say yeah, well why not? Okay, right. If I select, say, the edge here, edge, 
I can then move it out and move the other one out, and so on. So whatever you do will be mirrored over, and uh, yeah, that should work just fine. If you um, have any problems, I guess just post another question. I'll try to keep an eye on the forum. I don't, I don't keep an eye on this discussion as much as the ones from my actual classes, but um, I think I'm going to start doing that now. So I uh, hope that helps.